Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Caitlin Fashe, and today I'm joined by the amazing Sophia Carson. Congratulations on the new movie, I Feel the Beat. It really resonated with me because I grew up dancing as I know you did. So what was it like playing a character that was so relatable to your real life? It was really emotional and really vulnerable, um, which is exciting, but challenging, you know? In a lot of, I remember in a lot of moments, I felt like April's story was almost my own. But I worked really closely with my director, Alyssa, to really, we really wanted to make April's story as honest and true and real as possible. Starting with, you know, when we see her begin as such a tough, almost mean exterior, but it's really rooted in pain. And we wanted that pain to, to be real and grounded in the reality of her situation. But it was, it was really exciting to tell her story and I loved every moment of it. And I loved it as well. What was the rehearsal process like for that? Did your old skills come back to you or were you in the studio working hard? I was definitely in the studio working hard. It was so amazing to step back into the physicality and the mindset of being a professional dancer. Like you said, I've been dancing since I was three. I grew up competing nationally, just like the girls and just like April. So everything that they've experienced, I felt every single one of those emotions, which made everything that much more real. Um, but stepping back into dance training, um, as intense as we did, was so exciting and you know, really was challenging in the best way. So we had two months of intensive training with Mia Michaels and her team, and she's just legendary. So I had, you know, intensive ballet training in the mornings, contemporary conditioning, then choreo training every day. And it was really exciting and it continued throughout the film as well. So on the weekends when I wasn't filming, I was rehearsing, but it was a big part of our story. And I think it made the story that much more real because it was so physical. Totally, and I think you did a great job of portraying your character. And this was your Netflix debut. So how excited were you to break into the Netflix world? That is so real to say that. This is my Netflix debut. <laughs> so cool. So cool. It is, I don't know if it has fully sunk in yet, but today I have a movie that is going to be on Netflix for the world and I'm gonna watch it with my sister. My whole family is gonna be able to watch it. The world can watch it and that is surreal. And it's such an honor, you know, to be a part of the Netflix family. And I thank them for trusting me to tell April's story. And I just, I'm so happy that so many, you know, young boys and girls around the world will see the story. And I hope that they feel seen, not only in April's story, but in each and every single one of our incredible cast, our amazing cast of young girls that are so beautiful and eclectic and just um, themselves in their own beautiful and unique ways. I love it. And I know everyone else is gonna love it too. But before I let you go, can we play a quick game? It's called Feel the Beat or Not For Me. And I'm gonna list some dance genres and you can tell me if you've trained in them, what you think about them, or if they're just not for you. Okay, so I'll say Feel the Beat if I have? Yes. Right. Okay, uh, jazz. Feel the Beat. Love it. Okay, contemporary. Beat. Feel the Beat? Yep. Okay, hip hop. Feel the beat, most definitely feel the beat. Tap. I tried to feel the beat, but it wasn't for me. <laughs> me too, I struggle in tap, it is not for me. <laughs> okay, what about ballet? Feel the beat, In the be when I was younger, I didn't like ballet, but as I grew up, I started to really appreciate it. Uh, me too, what about salsa? Feel the beat, feel the beat, it's so fun. So fun. And last one, Irish dancing. <laughs> I've tried it, but I actually, I'm Irish, so I should say that I feel the beat. All right, I love it. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations again. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good one.